Hello everyone and thanks for tuning into the Financial Investor channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be doing our one month recap for March 2019. We're going to be looking at the M1 Finance individual account and the Roth IRA. We're going to go over the total equity of both portfolios, what stocks paid out dividends, how much they paid out, where those dividends were reinvested into, and then take a look at how the portfolio performed for the month of March. So if you are brand new to the channel, have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. And if you do enjoy the video, find it helpful with the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, going over anything in today's video, drop it in the comment section below. We're going to take a look at last week's individual count in the Roth IRA, the total sum of it all, and then compare it to this month's. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and flip my screen around here. And... I'm on the bottom there. So we're taking a look here at last month's individual account. We were sitting with a total equity invested of $460.75. We had market gains of $21.74, and we had made $4.05 since we started this Roth or this individual account back on February 8th, 2018. So We've got about a year into this specific portfolio. We had a cent in in cash. So as of that point, how has the portfolio performed? So currently the individual account is now sitting at $477.04 of total equity value of this specific portfolio. We've had market gains now of $28.02. So that's a nice little increase there of about $7. Some of this does come from dividends here. You can see that I own ticker symbol VU, which pays out every three, six, nine, and 12 month. So here we're in the third month of the year. They're gonna be paying out in the last week here of March, which they did. So it went from $4.05 to now $6.72. And our market gains is at $28.02. We have a total gain of $34.74 for the specific portfolio. And a return here showing a 14.57%. Now here, underneath our activity, we can see that we do have a cash balance of $2.67. And because this has not been invested into the market, you can see that it's pending currently as a pending activity. It's just sitting there. It's been paid out to the account, but it has not been reinvested anywhere. So I have to trigger it either by selling uh, $7.33 of VU and then reinvesting the total $10 back into the account somehow or just depositing another $7.33 yeah, $7 there in order to hit that $10 threshold and buy more of this specific ETF. So that is the stocks that paid out, what stocks were, you know, what stocks paid out those dividends, and it has not been reinvested into. I may make a video on how I reinvest this with just $2.67. Uh, I plan to go and just sell a portion here you know, $7.33, this would make my total, when you add it together, that'll be $10, which will hit that $10 threshold. And then it'll auto reinvest back into itself, basically putting the money that I sold out of it back into the market, along with that $2.67, making all of the equity invested into the market. So I may make a video separate to this one, kind of showcasing how that would take place. There hasn't been any sort of activity since then, so this hasn't really changed too much. Now I can go ahead and do the difference here between last year, or I'm sorry, last month and this month. So last month, 460.75 plus the cent there. So 460.76, 460.76. And our new equity balance of, let's go to our funding tab, and this actually combines the current value of the portfolio along with the cash. So we're sitting at $479.71 of total equity there. So let's go ahead and just make sure to actually copy that. And this is gonna show us the difference. This isn't exact. So here we can see that the difference between last month's equity and this month's equity is showing an increase of 
0.02%. And that is because there was actually another payout here. If we take a look at our activity tab, we'll see that back on March 4th, we had a referral come in. So a viewer, subscriber, someone out there use my referral link in the in the description below or in the comment section in order to sign up for m1 finance they received ten dollars and i received ten dollars so it's a win-win there they were able to enjoy the platform they got ten bucks automatically for it beginning to use the platform so if you guys want to get started you guys can check out the referral link in the comment section or in the description if you guys sign up you should you should get a bonus of around ten dollars and start your Roth IRA or individual account such as I have done here. So that is where some of the equity kind of comes here. And that's why I didn't add it myself, but it helped push the portfolio higher by 4.03% for the month kind of rounding up there. Now, jumping over to the Roth IRA now. The Roth IRA last month, when we finished on the very last of February, we were sitting in with a total value of the portfolio of $12,550.38. We had market gains of $257.91. And these earned dividends do not, you know, they don't, they are not paid dividends. They have earned the dividend by capturing from the ex dividend date, but they, they may or may not have all been paid into the account. So I don't look at this number. I actually went back through my entire portfolio for 2018 into the current months and completed how many dividends I've actually received paid to the account. And we'll cover that here in just a minute once I get to my spreadsheet. And we can see here that our market return was showing up 7.36% with no cash sitting in the, in the, in the account. Now, currently, when we jump over to the Roth IRA, we are now sitting here with a portfolio value of $13,347.91. So that is a fairly good jump there from $12.55 to now almost a $1,000 difference. And this month, I did add $461. So $461 are contributions that I have made towards the Roth IRA. The remainder is from market gains. The portfolio has been performing really well this month. So that has helped push the portfolio higher in value equity as well as market gains. So here we went from market gains of $257.91 back on the very beginning of March to now sitting at $561.16 of market gains and earned dividends of $316.98. Now this has not been paid out to me We'll go over the total paid, which is sitting at $291.49, but we'll take a look here at the activity tab of what stocks paid out dividends for the month of March. And our total return here is showing 11.72%, but again, this number could be fairly off, and we do have $0.49 cents sitting in cash because CenturyLink paid out uh, $0.49 cents on Monday, and then Friday, I should have received another dividend payout of $2.99, which has not hit the account yet, but it should deposit in the account on Monday. Then I'll roll that along with the 49 cents and the brand new equity into the portfolio, uh, reinvesting that back into the portfolio. As we kind of run through our stocks here by highest to lowest, we can see that our highest performing company here is Cisco Systems at 43.92%. And it just sort of trails down, down towards the lower with a few stocks here down towards the lower end, CenturyLink, Stanley Black & Decker, Kellogg's, Cardinal Health, Lockheed Martin, AT&T, JP Morgan, Caterpillar, and Avi. So that gives me a couple options here to continue buying down and averaging down my unit costs, my yield on cost, you know, increasing my yield on cost and buying back shares at a cheaper price of what I had originally wanted to buy into the company at, giving me sort of a little discount there. Now jumping over into the activity tab, starting back on the last week of February. Now in the very last week of February, we got paid out Caterpillar, but let's see, let's jump into March. So the very first week of March here, these dividends here from SPG, that actually paid out towards my February payout. When I looked at the statement, SPG had paid out on the very last week of February. So I put that towards my February 
dividends. So that just made my February dividends go up to $33.27. And Pfizer was my first dividend that paid out this month, $4.13. I post all my, my buys every week. I either cover, I make a video covering what stocks I'm planning on buying, kind of go over a little bit why as to why I'm buying them. And then I post them over on Facebook every Monday. I post my buys, what I bought them at, how many shares, how much those shares have increased my total dividend payout for 2019 and beyond. So our first week there, we can see Avery Denison, CenturyLink. Coca-Cola was, I'm pretty sure, a brand new company I added into the portfolio due to its valuation. Altria and Walmart. The second week of March, on March 11th, I added a Southern Company, paid out $3.74, plus I continue to add my weekly allotment to max out the Roth IRA. I purchased Avi Cardinal Health, continuing to buy more Coca-Cola, Main Street Capital, and Altria. The third week of March, we had a, you know, third week here, we had a lot of dividends roll in here. So we had Main Street Capital, 51 cents, Consolidated Edison, 344, Kellogg's, 354, Johnson & Johnson, $4.07, and triple m two dollars and 95 cents so that was 14 dollars and 51 cents there that had all rolled in i did not plan for all those dividends to start rolling in so when i made my buys i only made it with 122 dollars and 40 cents that left me with some cash still sitting in the account there so you can see here avi cardinal health altria and at&t continue to get bought back up and because i had all those dividends sitting in the account and they hit that threshold over $10 with Stanley Black & Decker adding $2.55 to it. The $10.04 went to go purchase a couple, you know, partial shares of CenturyLink trading at $11.82. And then in the final and last week here of March, I continue to get paid out. Here's that CenturyLink payout of $0.49. Cents. And Avery Denison payout $2.31. And I should have one more payout from... What's the company here? For March, I should have Digital Trust, D Digital Realty Trust, and this one should be paying out roughly $3.99, somewhere in that range. It's actually, I believe it was lower than that. So here, if I look at Digital Realty, I can see here that, okay, so it is gonna be $3.99. So that should bump up my cash within the account of $0.49 cents plus that $3.99. So it'll be a little over $4 there. $4.48. So those are the stocks that paid out dividends in the month of March. What stocks I reinvested into using those dividends, plus the brand new equity that I'm adding in every single week in order to dollar cost average, buy up more shares that are, you know, stocks that are in a discount. If you look at the total portfolio and you look at my last couple months, going back in February, January, December, many of these stocks here, Altria, for example, Altria was down 30%. Is Altria still down 30% in the portfolio? No, it's actually broke positive here up 0.41%. So from negative 30%, I was buying up more and more shares. You can see that the equity has increased in this specific stock from down in that $200, $300 range to now having a value of $605. So here you can see, yeah, $2, $252 of equity was back on January 25th as the stock was at its lowest point down 30% in the portfolio. That's when I really began to hit this specific stock buying back more shares with a yield on cost of 6% that drove my initial overall unit cost down and increased my dividends for this specific stock to now for a yearly payout of $33.71 from back in January. If I look at how much Altria was paying out, Altria was paying about $22.55, so nearly $10, a little bit more, and Altria is going to be increasing their dividend here very shortly into the future, so that'll kind of help it out as well. So those are the stocks that we bought, what stocks paid out dividends, where those dividends were reinvested into. Now our total return here for the actual months here, so we take the current equity of this portfolio at $13,348. And we have to subtract what stock, the equity that we added in there. So I'm going to go ahead and bust out a handy dandy calculator. 
So the current equity of the funds there, total value of the portfolio is $13,348. Now $461.52 is contributions that I've made this year or this month. So I'm going to go ahead and knock those out. So this is the current equity with the um, without the new equity having been added into the portfolio. And then if I take the equity from last month of 12, 55, 90, which 12, 55, 38. Okay. Maybe I could use 12, 55, 0, 3, 8. So 12, 55, 0, 2, 8, I believe is what I had said. 3, 8. The calculator here uh, is showing us a return for the month of March around 2.65%. They're kind of rounding up four or five to just five. So for the month, for the month of March, the portfolio is up around 2.65%. So if I look at the one month here, this shows a performance of 2.72 for the month of March. And here we can see the market gains of around $303 and some earned dividends of 45, but actual dividends that got paid out into the portfolio here as we kind of zoom in here a bit. Uh, total return, this is showing 3.95, was that what I wrote? 2.66, so 2.66% is basically what I got there for the return. I had $33.27 that got paid out total for the portfolio. The new equity there of weekly allotments out of this specific portfolio, $461.52. Am I in the correct? Oh, I'm in February. So going to my March. So here we should have 265, 265, there we are. Okay, so I changed a little bit of the layout. That way it's a little bit easier to see. So total dividends that have been paid out with this month's dividends included, I've received $291.49 since I started this portfolio back in January, 2018. We have cash. We're gonna have more than this. We're gonna have 348, that's right. So 299 or 399, we're actually gonna have 448 due to the 49 cents from CenturyLink, and then we're gonna get paid out 399 here from a Digital Realty Trust. It's gonna be paying out here on the 29th, which is uh, should have been paid out today. So it's gonna be hitting the account. So here we can see the performance for the specific portfolio as far as value and change. And I've kind of started to keep track of this a little bit better, it's cleaner. So it shows all the stocks that got paid out for this specific month, all the dividends that got paid out. So 3172 is how much that specific portfolio paid out. We're looking pretty good as far as dividend income. So going forward from this date forward, dividend income is showing at $455.06. That if we look at last year of this time frame, if we look at March of 2018, we had $5,550 sitting in the actual account. Like that was our base investment. We were actually down in our portfolio, $340.42. Our dividend income was sitting at $203. So by continuing to average in every week and adding brand new equity, I have initially doubled my dividend income, doubled it to $455.06. The equity here, the invested difference from my market gains and the dividends that I've received, I'm a, up a difference between my base investment. Actually, I don't know what the base, let's go ahead and do the difference there. So my total value of the portfolio is 13,351.38 and I've contributed $12,499.94. So that is correct. So yeah, a difference there of $851.44 of just cash that I've received and market gains. I also have my little handy dandy sort of payout. So here, starting in March, I should expect next week, I should get paid out by Johnson & Johnson and the Southern Company there, SO, and then going into Pfizer, Coca-Cola, Consolidated Edison. I actually removed Prax Air, so I can remove Plax Air, which became Lindel, Lindy, Triple M, and so on. So those are the stocks, and then of course we have our VU down here, 
Uh, ticker symbol VU paid out $2.67. Nothing has increased here because that it's still sitting in cash. And the returns there, I know we did the math. I'll probably end up putting it in there later. There's been no new equity of my own cash besides that referral. The new equity here between both portfolios, $13,831.10. And our total return for the month of March between the Roth IRA and the individual account is sitting at about 3.91%. And here we can see all the buys. So these are just stocks here that I've been wanting to buy for a while. Uh, T. Rowe, Walgreens, ADP, VF, VFC, and Cisco Corp. I did actually buy Walgreens now, so I can actually remove that. I'll probably end up removing that. And I added Walgreens to my portfolio back in just this last month. So Walgreens has been added in. It's up slightly. I'm going to continue to add into this one. I believe it's at a good buying opportunity. And we'll continue to add into Walgreens as well as CenturyLink and a few others here as well as Avi. Now, as far as the stocks here that I purchased this month, I started buying on the 4th of March here. So here's my five positions that I opened. These are all live prices currently now. So I'm up some change. So if we just highlight the change percentage here. So for the month of March, since adding brand new equity in, it's increased my sum here of $6.99. If I look at the dividends, I should have dividends. So my annual income by buying back more shares has increased by $25.46 going forward. So by adding $400 and some change, plus reinvesting those dividends, I've increased my total payout going forward, my cash flow by nearly you know, $25.50, which will all get continued to pay out, which will buy back more shares, which will increase my dividends and so on. So that is basically it and all I wanted to cover in today's video. If there's any specific information you guys would like to see covered in, in these monthly recaps, let me know in the comment section below. I, I like sharing the sort of journey of investing. This is my wife's Roth IRA. My IRA and my Roth IRA are over on Merrill Edge. That's not very active. I don't contribute to my own IRA or Roth IRA. My contributions currently go towards my Roth 401k with my my work. Uh, so this is our main active investing account uh, besides uh, the work account. So that is pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys did enjoy it again, hit that thumbs up button below. If there are any comments, questions, going over anything in today's video, drop it in the comment section. And of course, if you are brand new to the channel, have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. I appreciate all those subscriptions and thumbs up and all your guys' comments and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.